You may have heard of the new meltdown and spectra vulnerabilities that have surfaced that affects most computing devices. Um, today we're going to show you how to um, help protect yourself against spectra by enabling site isolation in Chrome and we'll also show you how to enable first party isolation in Mozilla Firefox. So what you're going to want to do inside Chrome to enable site isolation is to open up a new browser window and type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags forward slash enable hyphen site hyphen per hyphen process and hit enter. So right up at the top, it's going to say strict site isolation, which is the um, setting we are looking for. You're going to choose enable and then relaunch your browser window. At that point, Google Chrome is protected against the Spectra vulnerability, which has the ability to read memory between browser windows. And in a minute, we will pull up Firefox and show you that as well. Okay, so now we are going to switch over to Firefox and show you how to enable first party isolation in Firefox. So in the address bar, you'll want to type in about colon config question mark filter equals privacy dot first party dot isolate and hit enter. Choose to accept the risk and then you want to double click on this first entry here privacy dot first party dot isolate currently the value is false we're going to go ahead and double click toggles to true then you'll want to close out Firefox relaunch it and you'll have protection or mitigation against Spectra in the Firefox browser. If you have any questions about Google or Firefox configuration, uh, comment below or go ahead and shoot an email to info at craftgroup.com.